Welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at mostly the external features on these Leeuwenhoek Energy Plus 8x25 binoculars. For the full review that contains all the details on the, their coatings, uh, as well as all the optics used, how they perform in different situations and against other bin, um, compact binoculars, please take a look at the comment section below which contains a link um, to my website where you can find the full review. The body design and shape is fairly typical of that of a uh, roof prism compact binocular in that the eyepieces line up with the objective lenses. They have a, a single central hinge over here which you can obviously open and close to adjust the distance between the, the eyepieces to match that of your, of your eyes. And um, over here they have a, a central, centrally located um, focus wheel. Uh, one point I'd like to mention about um, this design is that whilst they're, they're, as you can see they're a compact pair of binoculars and easily fit into, into, my, into, into my hand like that, um, when you fold them up, the smallest shape they can fold to because of this single um, hinge design um, is, is about that size. Now that's fine if you, you know, got a jacket or something, you could quite easily pop them into a jacket pocket, I mean if you don't want them hanging around your neck. Another design, if I'll just show you over here with these um, Steiner binoculars, whilst these are also uh, roof prism uh, compacts, uh, as you can see the eyepieces line up with the objective lenses and they have a 26mm objective lenses, so slightly bigger than these um, Leven hooks. They, ha they feature a dual hinge design, so there's two hinges over here. So whilst when they're opened up, they pretty much, as you can see, same sort of size when you're using them as the, as the single hinge design. But when you fold them up and want to put them away, the smallest, as I said, you can get the Leven hook to is, is that size. Whereas with the dual hinge design, you could fold them up like this, and as you can see, the, they, they form a much more compact shape that will easily fit into a, a much smaller jacket pocket or, or even a shirt pocket. Just something to keep in mind, and if, if you you know if you are looking for something that's really small and compact and really easy to carry about when you're not actually using your binocular. These Leeuwenhoek Energy Plus binoculars feature twist-up eye cups, so to extend them, you simply twist up the eye cup, as as it says. Um, they have um, 14 millimeters of eye relief, so um, the optimal distance that your eyes should sit behind the um, uh, ocular lens to get the full field of view is about 14 millimeters. Now this distance is um, acceptable for a compact but um, should you um, like to wear glasses or need to wear glasses when you're you're using your binoculars um, ideally you'd probably want about 16 millimeters or more. So if you're a little bit worried about it um, it's possibly something you should check into or perhaps just select a binocular with uh, that has a bit more, comes with a bit more eye relief. The actual twist-up mechanism on these works really nice and smoothly. Um, the eyepiece housing itself is, is made out of plastic. Um, it's, it's fairly typical for a binocular in this price range. Um, as I said, it's nice and smooth. There's no un unwanted play or movement that, that's, that you shouldn't want. They also have an um, intermediate fixed stop between fully extended and, and fully retracted. This is quite good should you wish to, um, you know, you have different, everyone has different shaped faces and things, just to get your eyes at the exact right distance that you need, right behind the ocular lenses, as I said, to get the full field of view without any sort of dark rings forming on the outsides. Well, so I mentioned that they um, have 14 millimeters of eye relief, which is, you know, it's, it's acceptable but not brilliant. On, on the plus side to this, um, the, the shorter eye relief means that they, um, the eyepieces uh, and the binoculars have a, a really wide field of view. Um, as you can read it over here, 126 meters at a thousand uh, meters away. So the width of the view that you see through these binoculars is 126 meters wide at a distance of a thousand meters. Now for a, a little compact like this, this that's superb and, and, and ranks up there with some of the very best. Perfect for people who want to um, easily be able to spot birds, you know, from a closer range. Um, it just makes it easier because you obviously see more in your picture than, than binoculars that have, a, that have a, a narrower field of view. It's also easier to follow them in the sky and things like that. The diopter adjustment on these binoculars is located on the uh, right hand barrel um, right next to the eyepiece which is um, really typical and, and which uh, the position where most binoculars have them. Um, to change the diopter you, you basically just turn this ring. Um, once again there's no unwanted play or anything 
um, and there's there's a, a little bit of resistance there which is just perfect in the fact that it's it, it, it's not too hard to turn but at the same time there's just enough there to help prevent you know it them easily being, uh, it, the setting being changed uh, too easily without you wanting it to the focus wheel is uh, centrally located and for a, a compact it's it's really nice and big um, as well as it has this rubberized track on the on the outside here now uh, this may not seem like much but uh, um, as you can see here it's really nice and easy to reach and turn uh, um, and, and I have tested them out with wearing winter gloves and you know having a some some compact binoculars in fact I'll bring this the Steiner one that I showed you a bit earlier as you can see the, the focus wheel on these is, is really small and, and sometimes can just be a little bit fiddly especially if you're wearing thick gloves so with these you get a nice this, this binocular you get a nice big focus wheel nice and easy to adjust if you've got big hands small hands or if you're wearing gloves um, to take the focus from one end of the focusing plane, so from, from near focus all the way to far focus, actually takes less than a full turn, you know, less than, than 360 degrees of rotation. This is a really aggressive mechanism in that, um, it, it, and what it means is that focusing over long, changing your focus over long distances will be very quick um, in comparison to ones that take two turns, you know, some take even more than two turns. Uh, potentially on the downside to this, it means that making fine adjustments to your focus is just that but more difficult because, you know, even a tiny movement of the focus wheel moves the focus plane, you know, um, relatively further than those that take longer, you know, that those that are not as aggressively geared. Um, I, I haven't had any really any problems whilst using these, you know, getting the focus spot on, you know, even making small adjustments have been fine. So um, I quite like the, the fact that it's, it's really nice and quick and I haven't had any issues with, with fine tuning my focus. The chassis on, on this binocular is fully waterproof and fog proof. Uh, by that, it, it, what we mean is it's, um, the internals have, have been completely sealed and um, thus um, water cannot get inside. I think these have been tested to a depth of, of something like three meters um, for, for a few minutes or something and, and they, they remain um, watertight. Uh, the, um, as well as water, you know, so most people just think waterproof as being advantageous in, in wet, you know, if you're out there in the rain or something like that. But remember, if you're in a dry, dusty location, um, it's just as important in stopping dust and, and other debris from getting inside the, the system. That can, you know, obviously ruin the view. Fog proof, basically what all they've done um, during the manufacturing process is remove um, the air that was inside the system and replace it with a dry gas, usually a nitrogen gas. Um, and what this does is prevent the internal optics, the inside um, uh, lenses and, and on the prisms from fogging up when you, usually what can happen when you get like, you, you change temperature really quickly. So say you walk from a really hot um, warm cabin or something and uh, into an outdoor where it's below freezing or something in winter, you, you sometimes get the uh, lenses on, on unprotected binoculars um, misting up from the inside. The, as I said, the, the, the chassis itself is, is made from uh, a plastic. Um, whilst this may not be quite as um, luxurious uh, or, or, as, or as deep tough as magnesium, magnesium or aluminium ones, um, it does have the advantage in that it's a lot cheaper to obviously produce. Um, so are quite common on binoculars in this price range. And the advantage being that it's, it's, it's really lightweight. Um, so, you know, um, this, this pair of binoculars, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the features that you look for in a compact is to, uh, something that's small as well as lightweight. So, in that term, in, in those regards, it's, it's a good thing. Then we move on to the, um, it has a rubberized uh, armor on the outside, as you can see over here, if I just open it up a bit. Um, this, this, this armor on this particular pair of binoculars is, is really quite tough and hard. Uh, and uh, perhaps not quite as um, you know some 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 more spongy um, armors and that um, probably provided just a little bit more protection against um, uh, impacts in that in that they will obviously absorb more of the impact 
um, but obviously the advantage of having a, a really tough rubberized arm like this is that it's more durable and, and, and should last longer. It also doesn't actually collect as much dirt and dust. You know, some binoculars that I test uh, where they have really soft spongy rubberized coatings, um, you, you know, they just get covered in dust and that because it, it, it sticks to the actual armor itself. The other advantage of this um, rubberized armor, um, uh, you know, just to go back, um, being so hard on that, it probably also doesn't provide just quite as much grip as, as those that are softer and more spongier. Um, to sort of counter this and to help with this, as you can see, Leeuwenhoek have, have put a, a slight texture on the rubber, which you know adds a little bit to the to the grippiness of this. The other advantage of having a, a rubberized armored binocular like this is that the the armor itself um, absorbs a sound as well as it's not quite as reflective as say if exposed shiny plastic or, or metal um, was left. Um, both of these things are important in that, you know, should you be making noise with your, your wedding ring or something like that, look, if I bang it on there, or um, your reflections bouncing off this, you could quite easily give your position away, um, should you want to remain hidden or frighten away birds, you know, and in certain situations, um, this can be vitally important. The 25mm objective lenses are set quite shallow um, um, back inside the, the actual ends of the barrels. I think it's it's about um, 8 or 10 millimeters. Um, again, just look at my website for the actual actual number. I can't remember what it was. But it, they're quite shallow. Um, yeah, the, the downside to this basically is um, obviously um, it makes it easier to damage your lenses you know, because they, they're a bit more exposed than the lenses that are set more deeply back in, inside the barrel. And also things like um, uh, it's much easier for you know, soft rain or something or even dust to, to, to collect on the actual lenses because they're, they're closer to the end. Um, on the advantage, on the plus side of the thing of, of how this is obviously it, it just makes for a, a shorter binocular. You know, should you should they have been set a bit deeper back, you've obviously got to make the, the length of the binocular just that bit more to, to position the lenses further back inside the body. These Leeuwenhoek binoculars come supplied with their, their own uh, carry case. Um, as you can see it's a, a soft carry case and with a reasonable amount of padding on the inside. Uh, for a small lightweight product like this it's, it should be more than adequate you know, and, and only the sort of a really you know dropping a really heavy box or something on top of them is going to damage them. So this provides a, a reasonably good amount of protection to them. The case itself as you can see, it comes with its own carry strap um, with a, a shoulder slider on it. Once again, uh, it's possibly a little overkill for a, such a lightweight binocular, but even so, um, it's nice and comfortable to use and, and, and carry about when you need to. On the back of the, the bag, you can see it, has a, it also has a belt loop, so you could actually um, take the carry strap off and then uh, thread the, the actual bag through your, your belt. Um, and carry your, carry your binoculars on your hip, should you wish to. Uh, to gain access to the inside of the, of the bag, um, and, and this held closed with this, this Velcro strap. Uh, whilst this is nice and easy to open and close, um, for me the, on, the, on the downside to this is, as you can hear, Velcro um, makes a, a reasonable amount of noise unless you're, you're very careful to, to open it carefully. Um, in certain situations, and for some people this may be an issue in the fact that uh, the noise that you make could lead to you frightening away some timid wildlife or, or birds. On the inside of the bag, um, as you can see it comes with uh, its own, I don't know you can see there, the sun, oh, there we go, um, you can see it has its own uh, a separate internal pocket, uh, which is quite nice for keeping things like a lens cleaning cloth or you know some money or your, your car keys or something like that. The bag itself looks nicely well made um, and, and comes with their logo um, stitched on the outside. The included neck strap that comes with these Leeuwenhoek Energy Plus binoculars is um, really simple in that um, the strap itself um, is not curved so you know some of the, the better ones are, are curved to fit around your neck and shoulders a bit better to make it a bit more comfortable and it, as you can see it's, it's completely unpadded. Um, this is no really, not really a big deal for such a lightweight um, and small pair of binoculars. But even so, you know, a bit of padding in that is, you know, it would always look uh, a lot nicer. The actual stitching and and then that looks looks pretty good. Um, the connector that connects the 
the actual neck part of the strap to the part that you connect to your binocular um, looks to be made of a, a fake leather and uh, once again it looks to be stitched okay um, it's nice and strong and, and shouldn't come apart um, very easily you connect the, the actual neck strap to the binoculars in the usual way with a slider and fitting it through and back on itself um, on these, these side hoops on the, on the actual binocular. Uh, to have such a, a simple neck strap um, is quite common for a binocular in this price range and um, it's pretty much what I, I would have expected to see and it's what you get with most other binoculars. Leeuwenhoek also include a um, cleaning cloth with these binoculars um, which is of a, a reasonable quality um, and I would say that it would be fine for, definitely fine for cleaning the, the body and, and other parts of the binocular but, and for emergency use on your, on your lenses, you know, should you be out in the field or something and you need to quickly take a, um, some, something as, as um, fallen on your lens or something like that, you could use this cloth to, to clean them. However, if you, for proper cleaning and to ensure that you don't damage your lenses or their coatings, I would still suggest that you get yourself a, a proper lens cleaning kit, an, an optical lens cleaning kit. That concludes my quick overview of most of the external features and accessories on these Leeuwenhoek Energy Plus 8x25 binoculars. As I said in the beginning of the video, please, for the full review, um, click on the link down in the comment section and that takes you through to the website and, and to get to the full review that contains a whole lot more, more information on all their coatings, um, the, the optical components used, um, comparisons between other similar binoculars and uh, you know whether it be the specifications as well as on actually the optical performance um, comparing them to other binoculars and just to see exactly how they perform. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.